All right, we're here in the driver's side, and we're going to start with taking the two 10 mil bolts that hold up the parking brake cable. First one's there, and the second one, as before, is in the in the bracket there. Yep. Okay, so the first the first nut for the parking brake came off pretty good. The second one here is a bit challenging because of the heat shield and the exhaust in the way. So I've got a ratcheting 10 mil up on there and it's started to move. We'll see if it actually comes out or just breaks off. With this side, we're going to attempt to do this without removing the bracket. So we're going to start by removing that 17 mil nut and then go from there. Okay, after a little bit of time has passed here, the uh, the bolt started moving, so we're going to put another 17, 17 mil wrench on the bolt side and push it up against the axle to keep it from moving. Okay, so we used a ratcheting wrench to get that nut out the rest of the way, and now I'm going to use another one here on the bolt to move this out a bit to create some space so that we can get the nut out. Yeah, there you go. All right, nuts out. And I'm gonna keep working this back a bit while I'm here, but I'm not gonna take it out so the axle doesn't fall on me. Okay, now that we've got the axle supported, I'm just gonna slowly well, this is tight, work that bolt out. That's starting to come out now slowly but surely and we've got the jack here so nothing's going to fall on us. Okay, so after lowering and raising the axle a little bit with the jack, we've managed to get this to a point where we can, where we can get it out, I think. Okay, so with all the stuff in the way here, like the exhaust shield and the exhaust itself, we're just going to take this gun out uh, and remove the bracket to make life a little easier. Okay, with the bracket out of the way, we got a lot more room to, uh, to work here. So we're gonna start sawing out the, uh, the inner board here. Well, the whole thing's moving, so that's good. Keep doing whatever you're doing. I think the whole, I just split it. The whole thing's coming forward. Nice.
Okay, with the bushing out, we're gonna do what we did on the passenger side and just fold this in a little, working from the outside, and then we're gonna tap it inward. There it is. Okay. Okay. So with the uh, the outer bore there removed, we're just going to clean up the uh, we're going to clean up the surface here with uh, crap file. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And then we'll take a wire wheel on a on a drill and clean it up even more. Okay, we're ready to install the new bushing. Okay, new one's going in. All right, it's on. There it is. Okay. All right, we've got the bolt through. I'm gonna put the nut on. Oh, there you go, now it's really good. <laughs> Is it spinning? No, no, I got it. Now it's starting. Okay, so. 17? Okay, with the uh, with the bolt nut assembled loosely, we're gonna angle this so that the mounting stud is going into the body. And as you get closer, you may have to adjust it. Okay, here we've got the spike lined up somewhat. We're gonna raise it. So you'll have to move it forward and backward sometimes. There you go. You can probably try and if you can get the bolts through, you're probably good. That one caught, so we'll assume we're good. And we'll put up the bolts evenly and snug and then torque them, to torque them down to 60 foot pounds. Okay, now we're just putting our two 10 mil uh, nut here and the bolt on the bracket. They're going back in now. Okay, so after we've uh, put the wheels back on, lowered the car, we backed it up on the ramps to get it at uh, ride height or under load. Okay, and we're just gonna torque this to about 90 foot pounds. And that, is how you change 
your rear axle bushings without a torch and without a press or a hoist.